when painting with watercolor, you want to think ahead. So when you're, when you're working on your paper, you're putting down colors, you want to make sure that any area that you want to remain white, you don't put any color down. And sometimes that can be difficult. You'll forget about that. So that's where masking fluid can come into play. You can mask off that area, put a wash over it, and then peel up the masking fluid afterwards, and that white spot remains. And Winsor Newton has three varieties to choose from. The first one is art masking fluid, and that's what I have here in my little ceramic dish. And I'm going to take my brush and dip into that. Now, you can see it's got a slight yellow color to it, and that's so you can see it when it's on a white paper. I've already got some marks down here. I'm going to make some other marks with this. So you want to put that down and let that dry before you put your wash of color over it. And the other thing that's really important to note is you either want to use an old brush or make sure that you clean your brush very, very quickly after, after using it because that latex will want to get into the brush hairs and that can really, really make them stiffen up and, and, and you won't be able to revive that. So we're going to let that dry. Off to the side, I have another area here and I've already laid a wash down. We'll, we'll peel that up in a second, but let's put some color down so you can see that latex resist the paint. Now, I also want to warn you, there's, there's always a few warnings with, with art masking fluid. And one of them is don't use art masking fluid on a surface that's damp. If this paper is damp, it's not totally dry, it's going to sink into the paper fibers and then you won't be able to lift it. And you also don't want to use it on a soft sized paper. And that might be something you're not used to hearing a soft sized paper. Well, what that means or the, the way to determine it is just drop some water on the paper. If it beads up and it doesn't sink into the paper, that's a hard sized paper. So it's got a, a sizing on it that's making it less absorbent. And if it's a soft sized paper, it's going to just blend right in. It's going to, it's going to start to seep in and we'll peel up over here. So we can just get this started. Yeah, there we go. One, one of the things I love about masking fluid is that it's, it's a really great medium for people of all different styles. So if you're working in a representational manner and you want that little, yeah, you can see that really come up there. Oh, that's, it's kind of, it's really satisfying to actually peel it up. I really like that about it. But if you're working in a representational manner and you're painting a portrait and you want the white of the eye to remain, it's great. It's perfect for that. If you want to make abstract marks like this, get really non-representational, great for that as well. So really a, really a universal medium when you look at it like that. It's so easy to peel up. You want to, of course, let the paint dry before you do that. So down here, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to end up peeling this up, but I would really want to let that dry. But you can just see how that comes off. It's almost like rubber cement. And let me show you before I peel up the other ones. We also have a colorless masking fluid. So that's a colorless variation of the art masking fluid that we're using, but this can be used on a soft size paper. Again, don't use it on a paper that's wet, but it can be used on a soft size paper. And there's also permanent masking fluid. So this one is non-removable. So if you know that you are never going to want to go back over that area and you always want it to remain white, you can use this. And this is a water resistant wax. And that would be left on the surface. So here I've peeled up areas, but let's say later on, I want to lay another color over top or just a slightly different wash. I can do that. So it's a kind of nice way to work as well. And we'll just peel up these last two pieces. So you can take a look at on, on the Windsor Newton website and check out which variety is right for you. But again, great for artists of all different styles.